rate my takeaways official number one takeaway in the entirety of the UK. Looks like you're geared up for to this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is more important. You've gone all over the world, all over the UK. You've tried all the different types yeah. of food. Can you, off the top of your head, give us your top three UK takeaways? Maybe going up from third to second to first. Yeah. Add a bit of drama behind it. So up until like last week, yeah, I, I always had a third, like a, a number one. When any, anybody asked me, it would always bang this one without a doubt. And then last week, a meal I had, it just blew my socks off. All right, save that one. Yeah. yeah. So in, in, in third place, I would say it's got to be Shea Joel, right, which is a little full van. Is is a little guy. He's absolutely amazing. It's a little full van in the centre of Leeds, right? It don't look that much. Right. You know, and most people have probably walked past it and think, well, what's going on here? Yeah. He's done this thing called a French taco, and he does like a beef patty. He calls it a steak, which is like a mince patty. He puts all these herbs and spices in it, and then he makes his own cheddar cheese sauce and does all this with his sauce, puts it in. Which salad puts chips in it and then, then puts it in panini press. Oh my god, I had that on a fiver. Right, I swear to God, you can go to, to to one of these posh restaurants in London and pay two hundred quid, and that'll be it any day. Like. Really? Yeah. It, and, and whereabouts in Leeds is this? So it, it's a little van just just near Trinity. He's just parked up. He's there in his in his little van, and it's amazing. It's like five quid. This is high praise. I was about this, to say, that's third. This is the, th <laughs> the third best takeaway that Danny's ever had. This guy's been all over the UK, as we say, trialing them all. The, 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 who's the guy that runs this? So, the business is called Shea Joel. Fee, can you get that up? That's the fella. That's the fella. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Oh, wow. I tell, what an image. I tell you what, that looks good, you know. Ooh, he <laughs> What's that, oh. red cabbage? Yeah, but then now he's putting the chips inside. Oh, a game changer. So that one is wraps, he's putting the chips inside mm. and then he's, he's putting it in panini press and then that one is van further on. Shay Joel. Above that, just above that. There you go, Shay. You, 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 people pay millions for this kind of promotion, Shay. Yeah, there you the go. smile on his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he That's a man, man who knows food. Yeah, but he's like, he's absolutely off his head. He's, he's in that van. He's like, hey, what do you want, mate? What do you want? <laughs> he's whizzing about. Love it. Amazing. Love it. That's third place. Yeah. How do we top that? Yeah, second. So th this one was, was my favourite up until last week. All right, and when everybody ever asked me, I think it was fourth, fourth, fifth review I did. It was Abdul's in Wakefield, and then we went back there uh, to do us two hundred and fifty k. Yeah, uh, with the balloons and that. Yeah, with yeah. The balloons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's oh, it was just amazing. I, I went in. I got a, a curry, a tak tak kebab, and the tak tak kebab nan bread, and then he gets the doner meat, chicken tikka, chops it up, puts it in a pan, fries up a load of onions and stuff and, and spices, puts it back onto nan bread. And the nan bread, it's like a dream. It's like a cloud, I'm telling you. All right. Fold that up, get that in. Oh, it's like, oh, it's like heaven. Wow. And then the curry, oh, it was just unreal. It's got like 20, 30 cooking stations. There's, there's about 40-odd 40, 40 staff there. So you order a curry and they're just cooking your curry on your own. So it's not one big pan. Just your curry on go. It's got some little fella that runs about collecting pans and washing them. Uh, pot washer. <laughs> <laughs> and it just comes out and it's just so fresh and, and every time I've been and I've been back myself for, yeah. for my own takeaway just to see because I'm thinking is because like some places I do think to myself obviously as I've got more and more known mm. you know is it going to be they're giving you the VIP treatment get? yeah <laughs> so I, I'll, I'll phone up or, or place an order online and just go pick it up one you know wait couple of minutes till after the say it's ready so I know they don't see me walking for the door yeah and then <laughs> take it up and, but we have those every time spot on Spot on. Wow. Do you go for a spicy curry when you? No, so I usually have like a, a Rogan Josh. Yeah, something like that. That's, that's like a middle one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't do well with spice, and they're like, so like with the PO box people have been sending me these uh, Caroline Reaper little pot scratchings oh. that blew me head off the other day, and, all that. and then I've got a couple of one chip challenges to do. So I, I'll have a go at them. Will you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like I'm, I say to people, I'll eat oats. So, God. Yeah, go off, stitch myself. Up there, <laughs> yeah, right? you're going to be backlogged with oh. like deathly <laughs> items to eat. It'd be horrible. But yeah, I definitely recommend it. And his fries are very similar to to uh, to McDonald's as well. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? It's so similar. It's as if he's just nipped down at drive through and gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, but they are crispier. That's your second. Um, I've watched both those videos you've done. I'm pretty sure. Um, now it's oh. time. 
This is the for big one. Rate my takeaways official number one takeaway in the entirety of the UK. Looks like you're geared top fox to this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this one. is more important. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> the proclaimers. Oh, I, I went to uh, I went to Hull. Okay. And uh, it was this place called Nibble. And it was quite difficult to find, to be honest, because you're like driving about and it's, it's between a few big uh, like office blocks. So I got there and then I'm thinking, hey, look, this is a bit posh, this. But they do take away and somebody had recommended it. So we went and there's people sat inside and they're eating food. There's chairs outside. So I ordered takeaway and I got a, a breakfast sandwich. I got a, a, a chorizo waffle. With maple bacon and oh uh, come on sauce, right come on get ready and it had got poached eggs on it and I swear to God I just glided my knife over the top and it just exploded this <laughs> po- I, it, I've never seen a poached egg like that in my life and then it was a like a, a chicken uh, like a chicken tikka wrap like with a naan bread and it was chicken thigh meat and it was so juicy so I had all three of these and then it was a like a cookie brownie so. They also said, recommended, get a side of Ash Browns. So I'm thinking, Ash Browns? Ash Browns are Ash Browns. You know, you can't really do much with them, can you? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sat there and I'm like, this is this is a taste sensation, this. <laughs> <laughs> They've got these crispy Ash Browns and in Hull, they use chip spice. They've got this thing about chips. So wherever you go, chip spice on your chips. You, yeah. you can get a, a, a kebab chip spice on your chips. You get pizza with a side of chips, chip spice on your What's chips. What's it, like paprika or something? Yeah, it's like paprika and garlic salt or something like oh, that. Nice. But they don't just sprinkle a little bit on. You know, when you first have it, it, it gets back in your throat. You're thinking, my God, what's this? <laughs> so they, these ash browns come out and they, they put chip spice on, but then they must have put extra salt on as well. But they were so crispy. And then inside, they were so fluffy. And I, I, I bit them and I'm thinking, nah, this ain't right. Thinking, I can't get this giddy over an Ash Brown. It's just not, you know what I mean? You can, you can get a bag of 20 for the quid, you know what I mean? And I thought, you just cannot get giddy over an Ash Brown. But I did. It was gorgeous. And then when I went into the, 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 the breakfast burger, they got like two sausage patties in it. And the bacon, the streak, it, oh, it was just amazing. And I bit into it. Oh, 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 unreal. Yeah. Got to the waffle and I'm thinking, so what's all this about? Because it looked like a, a sweet waffle, but they said chorizo. They've got lumps of chorizo in, in the waffle with the egg on, maple syrup and bacon, and the flavours combined were just unreal. <sighs> but it looked, it, it all looked a little bit too posh, yeah. to be honest. I'm yeah. thinking, you know, I'm, I'm used to it in a, in, in a different kind of tub and all this. Yeah. You know, and then, then when I got to this chicken kebab as well, I, I love chicken thigh meat. I think it's the best, you know. Mm. It's you, you go for chicken breast, it can be a little bit dry, but the chicken thigh, if you get it cooked right, mm. all right, it's absolutely amazing. And they just nailed it. Absolutely. And I bit into it and I'm thinking, I could have that for breakfast, that for lunch, and that's my tea. Wow. Job done. And then I finished it off with a beautiful cookie, cookie brownie thing. Gorgeous. Nibble in hull. Yep. And the water tastes like water. <laughs> <laughs> Was it expensive there? I think it was like 30 odd quid. But when you look at... But you ordered three meals. Yeah, when you look at what I got and you mm. looked at the quality of stuff, and that's the key as well. So with these takeaways, if it's cheap, it, it's not going to be sometimes of the best quality. Mm. So obviously, like, this is up, up north. Like, down here, it's in London. By a, like I say, you know, paying eight quid for a bottle of water and a coffee. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, if you're paying eight or nine quid, people are thinking, oh, it's expensive. Yeah. But it's quality stuff. I'll tell you what, Danny, that, that, that stellar review you just gave there, people yeah. have paid 20 grand for that. So, yeah. so Nibble, if you want to sponsor Rate My Takeaway, get in touch That's with Danny. It. A reviewer on TripAdvisor gave it five stars and said, eight here twice in one weekend, not ashamed. Do you yeah. believe that? Yeah, oh, I, I can believe it. I yeah. Mean, th- so when I do all these reviews, a lot of people, then a lot of followers go down to these places. Yeah, after this, mate, that place is going to be swarmed. Yeah. yeah, the thing about it is it's all freshly made. So when you go in, See, there's all chefs in background, a lot of professional chefs in background, yeah. but it's like a, a well-oiled engine in there. Mm. You know what they're doing? The, the lass on the on the till, she, like straight a day, she brightens up your day. Good morning, how are you? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. I, I go into these takeaways, yeah. and I, you know, you've got somebody there. You're like, mate, what, what do you want? Yeah. Well, I want a bit of personality and a smile. <laughs> it's first night, you know, it's, 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 it's say no to be polite, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But you, you go in and they're making you smile and, and then like they're upselling, Ah, do you want a cake? Of course I do. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna buy ten. 
So, you know what I mean? That's what it's all about. And yeah. know, places like that, they will do well mm. because they're looking at the whole the picture, the whole the experience. So even if you're going in for the takeaway and you're ordering it, you're walking out of there, you're 50 quid light mm. and you've got a bag of quality food mm. and you're thinking, why well, have I just bought four of these cakes? Because <laughs> she's like, good morning. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> that's, that's the top three. That is. Shea Nibble. Joel's, Abdul's, yep. Nibbles. And Nibble. There we go. Cracked it open and it had got like warts on it. So what? It looked like what? And I, and I actually said, I think I said something like, it's got what you can get that sorted out down at clinic. Oh, that's, 